filling your ear with a style so hot, you'll see where all the sun rays went. Legs, arms, and head, all being moved in a frenzy. The blends be all the right cred, meaning credentials. Best of both worlds when we rockin' over pearls. And the instrumental, are you ready? Ready, set, set. Jump to the rhythm as hard as you can go. Keep it steady, steady. Gonna let it rock, hey. turn it up. We giving the show. But can you rock it like rock it, What you? talk about space or out your mind? Time to get it lit, we got it hot like fever. Sick with the talk, pass to your receiver. All about running the spot. And you know we got breath control, so no need to take a breather. Cardio kingpin, subjugate the dub play. And you know we can't wait to bring spins. A star quizzes, A plus the final. Vocals we align, we'll move it all simultaneously over joints you rock. We earn 30 years, so you can say we got three turns. Live off the board, unlike you and your chess men. We installed out in you and your yes men. And if the game had veins, we'll insert the Cause the adrenaline we blend with the sound is our thing. We're leaving the kings of all crowns. Are you ready? Are you set? Then jump to the rhythm as hard as you can go. Keep it steady. Stay to the letter, right? Turn it up, y'all. Keep the flow. But can you rock it like rock it? What you talking about? Space out your mind. But can you rock it like rock it? Fools. Coach, this is the city, Los Angeles, California. That's where we are for this edition of the NFL on EA Sports. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Arizona Cardinals and the Los Angeles Rams. is upon us. It's week 12 of the NFL season, and we're underway on EA Sports. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. carry now for Todd Gurley and he'll wind up with about six up past the 30 to the 31 if you start assessing what went wrong last week Charles and their loss had nothing to do with the ground game they ran it well and you also have to say to yourself as a team don't go away from what worked that's not the reason the game was lost running the football over time when you do it consistently usually translates into wins and they're hoping to do it consistently here Now on second down, this is Gurley. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game. So what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels. Because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, he breaks through it. Nothing but room for one. And now here's a deep shot that's complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals 42. They've got good playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. I don't know what happened last week to, to really hurt their performance and, and hold down their production. But I would dare say that this week in practice, there's a lot of talk about how they're going to increase their proficiency. And that was a good start getting the playmakers involved. You mentioned that to me pregame. That's what they did there. Yeah, I think a lot of people think the coaching staff really gets on them and that's how they motivate them. Most of these guys are self-motivated. They have a lot of pride in their performance. When you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, 
you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. And he fires one that's intercepted. Buda Baker with a pick. And the return will stop right around the 25. J.J. Arcega, white side, the intended receiver. Now they told us repeatedly earlier in the week in our meetings, we need some plays from our defense here on the road early. They got one. And don't think they were above all week long pointing out to their defense that the other defense is rated higher than them. You going to let that happen, guys? Is that how we're going to play? And they responded to the challenge. Murray's going to keep this himself on the RPO. And the Rams got it. They bring him down. K1 short in there to get him. And that is sack number six now for him on the year. They'll come up after the sack on a second and 12. Throwing on second down. Dumping it off for Johnson. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it indeed. Here come the flags. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 50. Mask. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they'll march off another 15 against your squad. They run with four. And an alley to run. 20. And he takes it all the way down to the three. A huge play there for Arizona. 45 yards on the ground. After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. They'll run it with Johnson, and he will get into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. David Johnson hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And they are able to strike first here on their opening drive. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. Now after the touchdown, it's Bosher to kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Ready. The Los Ready. Angeles Ready. offense set to begin their next drive. And still a lot of football to be played in this season. We're only in November. A lot can happen between now and January. But if it ended today, they would just be on the outside of the playoff picture looking in. So a lot to fight for. Yeah, and wasn't it interesting in our meeting with, with the coaching staff that they all made sure to let us know, we know where we are right now. But the playoffs don't start tomorrow. We still got some time. And they plan on putting it together formulating a streak that the whole month of December is still left to play, they think they can get in. And they made it very obvious to us that there's no playoff talk in the locker room right now. It's win this game and look to next week. Excellent focus. Here's Gurley now out of the gun. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Two yards, good enough for a first. We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They've stacked him up pretty well, but when you're trying to run the football, sometimes you've got to play the long game. Keep handing it to him, and some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. Gurley again here on first down. And he puts his head down and gets up to the 42 for a gain of about six. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid game. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and makes creases like they were able to exploit right there. They fake the give. Newton forced out to his left. And time finally runs. 
runs out. He can't get rid of the football, and he's taken down. Chandler Jones able to record his fifth sack of the season. Throwing on third down, Newton. Flush to his right. Oh, now he'll try and chuck it deep left side. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. And this passing game's whole offense really didn't show up in the loss last week, and it hasn't started all that great here either. And they can't let that incompletion become an uh-oh moment. Like, oh boy, here we go again, just like last week. Each game is its own entity, treated as such. Around the NFL, a game going on in Washington and make it a two-touchdown advantage now for the Giants. Remember to keep an eye on the ticker, of course, at the bottom of your screen for updates on that game and others around the NFL. Single, single, single slot. Murray's going to keep this himself on the RPO. He gets it left side to Johnson. And they'll bring him down here right around the 17-yard line. It'll be a gain of four, and it'll make it second down. This is Ford. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. They stay on the ground. This time it's Johnson. And he gets the first down here as he's taken down at the 24. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. Incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Brandon, it looked like he had his hands on it for a moment, but let, let's face it, that was going to be a tough catch all the way because of the presence of the defense right there as he was trying to haul it in. Yeah, nice job to force the incompletion. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. On the ground, it's four. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. Well, that play was over before it even got started. Thanks for nothing, huh? How about that? That sets up a very difficult third down call now. The Rams calling on their nickel set here defensively for third down. Throwing is Murray on third down. Escaping the pressure right. And eventually taken down here. Great coverage downfield. Oh, Shane Zeminis. In there to get him for a loss of nine yards, and that also leads to fourth down. He only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. The Los Angeles offense set to begin their next drive. And things haven't started so well for this side. Two drives, two punts. So now you've got to start looking not just at play calling, but which guy's going to step forward and say, okay, let's get this thing done. Because within that unit of 11, 
Sometimes one guy can make a big-time play and break through the barrier. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Newton now to throw. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Doing with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That's allowed them to disrupt the play. On third down, Newton. And that'll be incomplete. Well, they took their shot all right, but it comes up empty, and it's fourth down. It's always a goal, and it's really nice defensively when you can rally to the football and make sure there's enough contact to force an incompletion. Force an incompletion and force another punt. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And Charles, if the season ended today, and it's not going to, we still have December Yay, left. More football. We're only in November. Uh, but they would be a wild card team, and that's great. They'd be in the playoffs, but you know they're trying to bump up to be one of those division leaders. That guarantees you at least one home game in the playoffs, and that's what you're really seeking. But there also isn't much margin for error for this team, right? Because right where they're sitting, a two-game losing streak could have them out of the playoffs, so they've got to make sure they continue to keep the momentum going. Absolutely. There's some sharks smelling blood in the water behind them. <laughs> to throw on second and six, Murray. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. 27 yards there, a first down. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Running from the gun, Johnson. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case, and that play got bottled up. Jim, 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 Jim. Watch the twist. Watch the twist. Jim, Jim. Check out Henry. Slam, slam. Sick guy. Check this guy. Snap comes to Murray at one. And down he goes on the pressure from the Rams defense. Melvin Ingram able to record his fifth sack of the season. But no to start to have a good drive quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? No, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. Now that last sack puts Murray in the cards in a tough spot, third and long. with a third and long. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot and they connected there and picked up the first down. Looks like he's going to get a couple here on this first down carry, and that'll make it second and eight. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. 
And we remind you, coming up at the half, we'll join who, Charles? The coach. <laughs> the coach, Jonathan Coachman, standing by in Orlando. He'll have stats and scores from games in progress, as well as scores from earlier today. So, the coach. Sorry, we get slap happy up here sometimes. And that's caught left side. Seals Jones with it. They follow up the gain of two with a gain of one that time. And, partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. The Cardinals on third down. They've been okay two for three thus far. This will be third and six. to throw it's Murray that's complete to his tight end Seals Jones and they're going to mark him down short maybe by about a yard if that the completion good for only six and that bring up fours First down here at about the 40. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. down carry here for Johnson it's a pickup of four and it'll bring up second down Murray's going to keep this himself on the RPO throw left side complete it's four well we looked at each other right away we knew that flag was coming out and I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. And they've got another first and 10 as the penalty keeps this drive moving. And he'll give it here to his running back. On the stop was Aaron Donald. Now the card's going to call another timeout, their second, as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. only got a yard. Here's second and nine. From the gun, a run for Johnson. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. Give him three yards, and now they're left needing a conversion here on third and six. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. This one from 35 yards away. The kick by Carlson is good. So we have reached halftime with our score 10-0. As we'll send you eastward to Orlando. Standing by with that EA Sports halftime report now is Jonathan Coachman. Take it away, Coach. The Cards with the lead, and they will get this football first as the second half gets started. And this turnable, it's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff 
spend the entire halftime just working with them on here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Fake handoff to Johnson. Now here's Murray. They'll roll him out right. Throw right side is going to be caught by Kirk. A gain there of 21 yards. As a general rule, offensive linemen like to know where their quarterback's going to be when he's setting up to throw the football. But sometimes they just have to get on the run, get on the move. He was able to do that on that play and picks up a first down with a nice throw. Watch the ship. Watch the ship. Check 13. Check 13. Check 13. Check 13. They'll run on first down. Johnson, well, he'll get three up to midfield. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing, but with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. Here's Murray from midfield. And he's got this down to the 35. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams' 35. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Now a pass dumped off to his running back. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. That'll go down as a loss of eight. And it'll be a second and long. To throw is Murray. That's caught on the left side by Kirk. And he's going to be down at the 35. Gain of seven. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or... Better against man, because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. On third down, Ford. And he'll be stopped short of the first down as they rally to tackle him at about the 28. That was play number seven on this drive, and it got him seven yards. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. And his kick is absolutely perfect. And that'll push the lead up to 13 to nothing. So chalk that down as an eight-play drive capped with a field goal. Yeah, as a friend of mine used to say, they were moving and grooving for a while, but they couldn't keep the momentum going enough to get a touchdown out of it. This is taken at the three. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. And the Los Angeles Three, offense set to begin their next drive. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. The guy just take a deep breath, relax, try and figure out what is working and call more of that. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Eric Ebron, the big tight end, is intended target, and that'll bring up second down. Ready? Ready, 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 On the counter, Gurley. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. That's a really good job right there. Just kept stringing that play out, pushing further and further towards the sideline. Really good fundamentals by that defense. He was trying to put his foot in the ground and turn up field. He just couldn't. No, they really had a picket fence in front of him. No room to find to get upfield. Check the backer, check the backer. Check, check. 
Check one, three. Again, they run with Gurley. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So he was holding from that left tackle position. Everyone tries to keep their hands inside when they're blocking. Ever since hey, they hey. liberalized the rules, go, 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 we can extend them out. Go, go, go. But sometimes they get out a little wide, and they get detected grabbing some cloth. Check 25, check 25, hey. check three, check three. Shift, watch the shift. Kill, 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 kill. Switch it, switch it. 20. Switch it. Following the penalty, it's Gurley. And he'll get this only up to about the 35. Just a one-yard gain on the play, and that'll mean a call to the punt team as it's fourth down. Well, they got off the field on third down. An excellent job, an excellent defensive series. We always talk about adjustments, and usually only at halftime. But the best teams adjust series to series. And on that series, they adjusted so well that they got the job done in fine style. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's able to get up here to the 26. Seven yards there and a first down. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. Murray now on first down. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Ford. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Here's second and seven now from the 28. on the catch it's third down what a catch and one-handed and i'm starting to lose my awe about the play and maybe i shouldn't how much of this is the player how much of it is the glove well, those gloves they do have a little grip to them they don't get that they? little extra tackiness to them now and i know the guys in the nfl the competition committee some other places they're talking about examining those gloves to see if they're having too much of an effect on the game. Give him 16 yards there, and it's a Cardinals first down as well. On first down, it's Johnson. Johnson with a burst, a first down and more. And finally brought down at the 38. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Under 10, under 10. They'll run it now out of the gun. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. 
Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run, got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. They'll run on first down. It's Ford. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Again, they turn to Ford. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. A gain of just a yard, but it's a first down. How about this offensive line? They're really starting to establish themselves, take over this game. And before the series began, I know exactly what was said in the defensive huddle. Guys, we got to get no less than a three and out. Let's get off the field. Instead, they can't find any traction towards doing that. Right now, they're just getting muscle all over the field and getting pushed down it. We've seen good cover skills on display throughout this game, really from both teams. And there's another nice example there of them making it difficult to complete a pass. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. You got that right there. Check 52. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll set up a third down. And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. On third down, Johnson. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. Call it a four-yard pickup, but it leaves him a few inches short here on fourth down. So now here comes the field goal team for the third time today. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. Carlson able to put this one through. And that's going to make this a 16-0 ball game. So they settle for just the three, but clearly right now anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off, but it's still eight up time, got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. The Los Angeles offense set to begin their next drive. And you're still in this game. I mean, yeah, you haven't scored. Offense obviously has struggled. But you're only two scores down, so all hope not lost. Not at all, because we're talking about the NFL, and teams can score fast in this league. Quick strikes, you're right back in it. You're exactly right. Keeping hope alive. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. A shotgun snap for Newton. Dancing to his left. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. They brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him, but instead, he flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir. Able to turn that into a positive game. Buying time to his left. He's going to dump it off to Gurley. And Gurley here fumbled it. Gurley fumbles the football. It's loose. And they'll set up shop right near midfield at the 49-yard line. Not the trend he wanted to start the season with a fumble lost in both weeks one and two. Now, it's not a disaster, but certainly not what he was looking for. Got to get that fixed because otherwise he shows up on every scouting report. I remember sitting in defensive rooms and hearing the scouting report from my coaches, and if someone had a particular problem carrying the ball and holding on to it, that was noted. Hey, make sure you get a little extra attention to him. Get after the football. He's dropped it the last couple of games. Pretty good results here on the first down run as he takes his forward for about six. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Strong left, strong left. Better bring it. You better bring it. 
Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Cardinals, they've got the football here as we get you reset. And no doubt what they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes and escape with a win. Here's Johnson. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things. But the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. Wow. That ball gets knocked free. But a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks them up. And avoids the turnover. And this is good from 57 yards out. That was bombs away right there. So with that, you figure yeah, this game's pretty much out of reach at this point. Yeah, it's going to take a heck of a comeback to come from three scores down. But don't change that channel. Don't go away. Miracles can happen, and you want to be here in case it does. You're a company man. Aren't I, though? The Los Angeles offense set to begin their next drive. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. you got to get points. And, okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. It got his man complete. That goes for a gain of 31. Uh, defensively, I know they have the comfortable lead here in the fourth, but they do not want to give up big plays like that. They want to finish strong. So oftentimes in this situation, you tighten up underneath in your coverage and you bring your safeties back. They can pick up anything that leaks through. But in the meantime, upfield, you're making plays on the football. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. Defensively here, you've got the cushion, but back-to-back -back pretty big pass plays there. Bend but don't break, but are they bending too much? I think that they are. To me, it'd be like playing basketball, and you put up a token press. Make sure you get up there and make them eat up some time. Make it a little bit of resistance so they can't just run it right down your throat. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Throwing again. Newton being chased out left. And this is going to be intercepted. Buda Baker with a pick. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Of course, they had the option, and they choose to not take the penalty. They like the results of the play that they just ran, and they elect to let them stand. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And three timeouts remaining here defensively, but really not much reason to use them at this point, as this one is all but over. If they use the timeouts here, it's strictly for sure. we got a play in the catch. There he goes, left side. And oh, at the end of it, he stripped. Ball comes loose. And now the Rams have got it, going the other way. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. So it's a win here for the Arizona Cardinals, and they did it in shutout fashion. Impressive. Would it be too bland of a statement to say they didn't have the greatest day offensively? I uh, mean, you did know. enough, though. Did enough, but yeah, you're right. Most games, it wouldn't have been enough. So they've got to go into the locker room and applaud their defensive mates and say, guys, you really carried us today. We'll try and get you back next time. But as for today, you guys were nails out there. So for the Cardinals, their playoff chances take an uptick as they move to 7-4. and four. And they'll get another road date next week as their opponents will be the Minnesota Vikings. Meanwhile, for L.A., it's starting to look like it won't be their year as they drop to 5-6. and six. And they'll try to get back to their winning ways next week as they head to Lambeau to take on the Packers. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, we thank our entire crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. This is the NFL on EA Sports.